The goal to combat childhood poverty. Local leaders gathered today to listen to an expert on that subject, and local tools Jeff Hirsch was there and gives us an idea of what lessons were taken away. Big crowd of community leaders here this morning, more than 200 people for a meeting of the Cincinnati Child Poverty Collaborative. This is their biggest meeting to date. And they heard from an expert from New York City who once ran the New York City social services programs about things that can work. Robert Dorr is now with the American Enterprise Institute, a conservative policy study group. Dorr spoke of reducing teen pregnancies, reinforcing the importance of families because single female head of household families have the highest poverty rates, and requiring able-bodied people who do get public assistance to get a job as well. It works to say to people who are receiving various forms of assistance, this is a reciprocal relationship. This is, is not a one-way street. We need people who are receiving assistance to also be moving rapidly toward employment. Oh, I was very impressed um, talking about the importance of family, two-parent uh, families for the benefit of kids, helping young men uh, who may not have kids coming out of the prison system. Uh, these are huge issues. And I think, um, frankly, his comments about the challenge of there being silos, so you go someplace and you get help for food, but you have to go someplace else for help for housing and someplace else for medical. I think that's something that um, everybody's been sort of talking about and thinking about. It's more difficult to figure out how you, how you make change in that area. But with the city of Cincinnati's child poverty rate among the highest in the nation, community leaders agree some sort of change is necessary. The question now, which changes? Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News. The Cincinnati Poverty Group hopes to have some recommendations on reducing child poverty here by early summer.